Hi, welcome to my channel Pack Explains Physics. So today we are going to learn about how to find the resultant vector. Okay, Yo, so here there is a questions on the resultant vector. Okay, let us read the questions together. Determine the resultant vector in unit vector form. Okay, unit vector form. And also determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant vector. Before we want to find the resultant vector, we have to resolve all the forces into x and y components. Here we have four vectors. We have F1, F2, F3 and F4. Okay, so we look at F1. Resolve it into x and y component. So, so F1, it has x and the y components. Okay, so now for x component, it has angle theta. Uh, so we use cos theta. So, and then don't forget the direction. Going to the right is positive, going to the left, negative, going upward, positive, going downward, negative. And we must write this first. Now, for the F1, X component, it has angle theta. So we use cos theta. So 10 cos 60. Uh, it is in to the right, so positive direction. So write positive uh, 10 cos 60. Okay? And then, for the Y component, it is going up. So it is positive. So no angle, use sine theta. So it is positive 10 sine 60. Okay? Uh, and then we have F2. F2 is going down. F2 is going down. It only has Y component, no X component. So no X component means zero. Uh, this F2 is only in Y component. And it is going down. Going down is negative. Uh, so we need to add the negative sign. Uh, negative, negative 5 Newton. Negative 5. That's it. Okay. Uh, and then we have F3. F3 2 Newton. Okay, so F3 it also has two components because it's got angle theta. Uh, this is the X component and this is the Y component. So F3 for the X component it is going to the left. Going to the left is negative. Uh, so we must put the negative sign going to the left. Uh, got angle theta. S component got angle theta. Uh, so it's 2 cos theta. 2 cos uh, 25.2 degree. Okay? For y component, it is going up. Going up is positive. Uh, so it's positive. Um, no angle. So sine theta. 2 sine 25.2 degree. Okay? Now, for F4, F4 is uh, also has two components. Okay? So this is the X component and this is the Y component. Okay. So for X component, it is going to the right. Going to the right is positive. So we must write uh, positive um, okay, for S component of F4, it, it doesn't have angle. No angle means sine theta. Uh, we must look at where is the angle. This time the angle is with Y component. So the Y component becomes cos theta. Uh, S component no angle, so use sine theta. So it is 2.5 uh, sine 77 point, sorry. 77.3 degree. Okay? And then for the Y component, is going down. Going down is negative. Uh, so don't forget to put the negative sign. Going down, negative. Um, 
2.5 cos because has angle angle theta so use cos theta cos 77.3 degree okay uh, after we resolve into x and y component then we can total up uh, we total up the x component then we have the uh, total fx uh, we total them up don't forget your um, your your calculator need to set to degree uh, don't set radian yeah don't set radian you must set in degree okay before you do a calculation now you use a calculator total up the x component and then we will have um, it is a you get positive value okay you get positive uh, 5.634 and then for the y component also you total up and then we will get the y component the y component you get positive uh, 3.962 Okay, uh, 3.96, positive 3.962. So, we already got the total x and total y. Now, we can write it, write the resultant vector in the unit vector form. Okay, so for the total x, it has a positive value. Positive value means the total x is going to the right. Uh, it's going to the right. So, it's going to the right. Uh, for the total y, you also got positive value. Means the total y is going up. Okay. So now write it down in unit vector form. Unit vector form means it is in uh, i, j, or k form. Uh, yeah. i means uh, in x component, k in y component, and k in z component. Uh, actually, this is three dimension. Okay. But in our syllabus, we just learn. Uh, two dimension. We just learn uh, these two, i and j only. Okay, k is the third component, third third dimension. So uh, we don't learn about k yet. So now write it down in unit vector form. So we have the fx. Okay, so positive five point three four. So the answer should be uh, five point six three four i. Okay, in the x component and then the y component is going up uh, positive 3.962 j going up so this is going to the right this is going up and then you must put a bracket finally you must put the unit uh, don't forget the unit okay? although in unit vector form we must put the unit okay so this is what we call unit vector form. Unit vector form must have i and j. The second question, determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant vector. So we want to find the magnitude uh, or we, the, uh, the meaning of magnitude means the size. The size of something. How big is it? How small is it? So to find the magnitude, uh, magnitude of the total resultant force uh, magnitude you must have the symbol um, modulus okay modulus means magnitude magnitude of something so the modulus or the magnitude of the resultant force is equal to the square root of total fx square plus total of fi fy square uh, actually it's basically like this okay something like this so we have, uh, you know, one, uh, once we got the resultant vector, it turns out to be like that. So this is the total fx, and this is the total fy. Ah, so the resultant vector is the Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse, and this is the total f, okay, with angle theta, huh? because it's going to the right, so positive going up positive uh, okay so we want to get the total f so the total f just use the Pythagoras theorem uh, so we have the fx 5.634 
So, calculate. Let's calculate. So, Pythagoras theorem. 5.634 square plus the Fy, total Fy is 3.962 square. After we uh, calculate, we get 6.89 Newton. Ah, so, that is our the magnitude of the resultant force. 6.89 Newton. Okay? But getting the magnitude alone is not enough because for a vector, for a vector, it has direction. So, for a vector, besides getting the magnitude, you must also find the direction. So, the direction theta, this one. So, how to find the direction theta? So, to find the direction, we use uh, tangent theta. Okay, tangent theta, let's move on. Tangent theta, yeah? Tangent theta is total Fy over total Fx. Uh, because um, Fy actually is the, the we can uh, transport the Fy over here, total Fy. Uh, okay, so to find the theta, we use tangent theta. Opposite divide by uh, adjacent. Tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. So Fy is uh, 3.962 over adjacent uh, 5.634. Uh, yeah? Which is the this value. This value. Okay? Total Fx, total Fy. So after that, uh, we can calculate. Calculate, we got 0 0.703. Uh, don't stop there. That is only tangent theta. Okay? So the angle of theta, you need to inverse tangent. Uh, many students forget about inverse tangent. Because we want to find theta. We don't want to only to find the tangent theta. So inverse tangent, you get... Um, 35.12 degree above positive x axis. Okay? So, uh, so the angle this theta is 35.12 degree above. Uh, you must write this the, the uh, sentence after that. You must write above the positive x axis. Uh, don't just give the the degree. Don't just give the theta. You must also give the uh, in what quadrant is it? The, it is at the quadrant above positive x axis. Okay. Uh, so uh, that's all. That's the magnitude and direction of the resultant vector. So I hope you enjoy the lesson. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button. Yeah. So I hope you stay tuned for the next up upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.